Can you see me? I can. <laughs> How are you? Thank you. It's so good to see you again. Nice to see you too. I know we chatted a little bit about this before, but you just have such a good story and we want to hear again. Our fans want to hear again. When did you first realize that you wanted to pursue a singing and an acting career? Okay, so I really never, because I've always been a singer, so that's been my number one thing that I've been doing all my life, um, ever since I was six years old, um, and I never really imagined myself, like, getting into the acting world, like, it was never something that I had planned out or never thought I was going to ever do it, um, but yeah, so, and then all of a sudden, like, my manager uh, sends me this role and it's Emmy and I'm reading the script and I'm like oh my gosh like I literally am in love with her she's like just like me so I auditioned for it and it kind of dipped my feet in the water a little bit and I realized that I loved acting and everything about it um, so yeah like that's how I started getting into acting and I, I absolutely loved it. I love that. That's so cool. And people keep comparing you to Mariah Carey and Ariana Grande, which I'm sure is like the biggest compliment ever. And we just watched your video where you sang uh, Boys to Men and you're so good. But what's it been like to, you know, you're on the show now and your your voice is getting so much attention. You're getting compared to these incredible people, which is an amazing compliment. What has that all been like? Incredible. Like to be Mariah Carey, first of all, like to be compared to her is absolutely crazy to me. Like I never would have imagined myself being compared to the Mariah Carey. She's literally the most diva person ever and just such a queen. So to be able to like even have my name associated with her is just so special to me. Um, and I, it's been crazy, you know, like all this attention that I'm suddenly getting and it's, it's, it's so beautiful. And I love all my fans so, so much and all the support, it all matters so much to me. Yeah, totally. And you are, like you said, you're nonstop, you're super busy. So what is it like working in such a fast paced industry? Do you find yourself dealing with challenges? And if so, how do you overcome them? So, I mean, like, obviously I'm a teenager, I'm a 15 year old teenager. So things are always spinning around my head all the time and constantly moving so fast. Um, but the main thing is you have to pace yourself and that's what I've been doing. You have to pace yourself and just really, you know, you can't take time for granted. Um, time is so special. Um, so yeah, I've, I've, you know, on top of that, I have schoolwork and all this homework, but you know, it definitely gets crazy sometimes, but you just have to breathe and tell yourself that you're good enough and, you know, you can do this and get through this and you will get through this. Um, so yeah, yeah you always have to have words of motivation. I always, even on my phone, I have like this little app that gives me like little, you know, uh, inspirational quotes that I like to read every day. And I just like to stay organized and yeah. Yeah, I have one of those apps too. And like, sometimes the timing is so perfect and you're like, oh my perfect. gosh, are they listening to me? Because I exactly. totally needed that. It tells you what you need to hear at the right time. It does, which is kind of crazy. Um, well, that made me think too, do you have any like go-to self-care routines where you're like, okay, I'm feeling a little crazy right now, or maybe a routine that you do every day to like, just center yourself? Yeah. So I get ready for bed. I literally, every single time before I go to sleep, I make sure I do my skincare routine, take off all my makeup, do my skincare routine, and then get in some comfy PJs and open my Chromebook, do some homework. Um, yeah, I like to stay on top of things, you know? I'm definitely yeah. a very organized gal. Um, um, but yeah, so yeah. I love that. I love it so much, which is so funny because I'm so not organized. If you saw like the studio that I'm in right now, it's out of control. And <laughs> so when you just really? said that, it's I so like, funny though because your background looks so like aesthetic and so cute and organized. <laughs> It's the only thing. So one of my things that I do full time is like I shoot products for brands. Like I do TikToks and stuff for them. So like this entire room is just filled with products that I need to shoot. And it kind of looks like a store a little bit, like a chaotic store, like a store somebody broke into. But I'm like, I need to be more like this girl. She's so organized. So I just, I'm inspired now. Um, I'm going to get organized. But anyway, um, what are you currently working on? What projects? Um, So... I haven't been working on anything acting wise, okay. but as you know, I am a singer, so I've been working mm -hmm. on 
lots of original music recently. I've been getting into the studio a little bit. Yeah. I'm doing like some music sessions where I just write and brainstorm and, you know, be in my own element. Um, and I have like my team that helps me that sits in the studio with me and helps me write. But yeah, so I'm working on something super special right now. Hopefully I'm going to release it soon. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for that because I'm so excited for you guys to hear it. Oh my gosh, we're so excited. So for everybody that's watching this interview, where should they just go like stalk your Instagram for yes. a release really date until you, yes. okay, cool. Please do. <laughs> Amazing. We are so excited because that was actually one of my other questions. We're like, when are we going to get an album or an EP from her. So we are so excited. Um, speaking of music and all the things, what was it like working with Josh Cumbie who wrote Dreams Don't Die, Wondering, Let You Go, and who worked on This Is Me With You and did a whole bunch of other High School Musical, The Musical, The Series songs. What was it like working with Josh? It was, he is just so musically, he's such a musical genius. Like he's literally incredible, like outstanding. Um, working with him though, like he definitely, he, I'm one of his biggest fans because he definitely like, you know, let me, he made me feel so comfortable while recording Dreams Don't Die and This Is Me. And um, cause yeah, he's just, he's such an amazing human being. And like he, you could tell he like definitely cares from the bottom of his heart um yeah. he just wants the best for you um because he'll give you like the, his critiques and he'll tell you these things and I definitely made sure that I you know put it into consideration and put it into the music because you know he knows what he wants um yeah. and I mean if you listen to dreams don't die like come on yeah it, it's, it is so beautiful uh, one of my favorites literally ever so yeah he he was incredible to work with and I definitely would work with him again that's so cool. And sometimes it's hard to find people in the industry that like have your back. And like you said, like super genuine has right. your best interest in mind. And it's so fun that you get to create magic with people like that. Okay. Um, pivoting to not, I guess the production side of things, but have you had a favorite fan reaction so far? I love when the fans make edits, like mm -hmm. Really, the edits are my favorite thing. Like, I, you'll watch, you'll catch me on TikTok, like looking up Limani Segura Emmy um, edits, <laughs> and I literally uh -huh. spent, like thirty minutes watching my own edits and just like cracking up and loving all of them, favoriting them, commenting. Um, so those are definitely my favorite because it shows like my character and who I who I am. And everybody that's listening, you guys heard it here. So Limani watches her fan edit. So make I those things. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. And I bet you it like makes their day when they get your comment or whatnot. So that's so fun. Um, okay. So back to set, did you get any tips from Tim, Joshua, Sophia, Ju Julia, or any of the, oh my gosh, tongue tied. I'm going to start over. <laughs> I needed to do my little, um, the lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. Do you ever do that before you sing? No, I've never done what? that. Wait, you have to teach me. So it's um when I used to do musical theater, we do it all the time. It's the lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, the tip of the tongue, the teeth, the lips, or like unique New York, unique New York. No, you've never heard of those? Yeah, that must be I've old heard school. That, but I've never okay. heard of the, the lips, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my gosh, that must be like an old thing, but okay. Well now, now you, you guys have heard it here. That's so funny. Um, okay, let me start that over. So did you get any tips from Tim, Joshua, Sophia, Julia, or any of the other cast members that really helped you during the show, or even just like something that you took with you for, for life? I literally, every day on set, like was always so, I loved it so much because the cast members like Sophia, Joshua, Julia, Frankie, Dara, all of these amazing stars literally became my brothers and sisters on set. Um, we became family like instantly. And they would always give me the best advice like that I will forever to keep mm. in my heart with me for the rest of my life. Um, Sophia, like I said, I, I think I was talking about this in the last, the last interview that we did, but she always, always, always tells me to be myself. Mm -hmm. and what and so does Tim Tim oh he's just incredible with advice like the best ever um and he always told me to just be he always called me Lily they always gave me like little mm -hmm. nicknames 
um, he'd always just be like, Lily, like keeping yourself and shining like the bright star that you are, because if you keep doing that, you're going to get so far in life. And Aww. that, like, I literally want to tear up talking about it because of how like close it hits. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, and then Joshua would always help me with music. Like we would, he would always pull me aside and he'd be like, Yo, Lily, like listen to this. And he would play me like some demos and we would just like listen to each other sing and um he would always tell me that he if I had any questions about like record labels and you know getting into like the more about the music industry he would always tell me like amazing tips and what not to do and what to do so um yeah definitely and actually I meant to grab it before the interview but um before we wrapped Tim made us he, he made a google docs and it had each and every one of the cast members names mm -hmm. and our job was to fill out what we loved about each other and what we wished for each other in the future and there's this whole like script with everyone's like i wish can is do i have time to grab yeah, it yeah go to? grab it i would love to see it that sounds so special okay, here it is so right when we wrap, Tim gave this to us and it says Limani on it. So I'm going to open it. I'm going to show you how long it is. Oh my gosh. Literally. Oh, oh my gosh. Yes, but it's, so it's like what I wish for Limani, what I admire about her. And it's a Wildcat certificate of graduation. Okay. I just got chills. Like that is so sweet. Yes. So, wow. I like so much. And I literally, I can't, I can't even read it like fully through because I like end up bawling my eyes out, but yeah, I love it. That's so sweet. And it sounds like, okay. I, I picked up a little hint from your app that you have that words of affirmation app. It sounds like you yeah. might be a words of affirmation girl, just like I am. So those things mean so much, so special and you'll have that for forever. So that's so thoughtful. I'm so glad that he did that for all the cast. Um, okay. So kind of, kind of piggybacking off of that, what is one thing you learned from being on high school musical, the musical, the series that you can share with others in regards to like pursuing your, like an acting and a singing career? I would definitely say because I never imagined myself getting into acting. So I never really knew like what I was, what to expect. I would definitely just say to keep following your dreams keep following your goals and soon enough you will literally reach those goals if you keep working hard um keep your mind to what you keep stay focused definitely stay focused stay in school keep god first always uh -huh. uh, and just work super hard because all of that hard work is soon going to pay off. And I learned that along the way, um, because when I was young, you know, I would always dread doing videos and, you know, always be like, oh, mom, but I have to get ready. But all of that matters now because I am where I am today because of that. So yeah. I would just say, keep doing your best and always put your best self out there. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> so sweet. Um, who is your favorite ship from High School Musical, the musical, the series? Oh, okay. This is a really good question. I don't want the fans. Oh God, I'm so nervous. Okay. My favorite ship from High School Musical, the musical series would probably be. Hmm, I definitely ship and I'm forever a stan of um, Ricky and Gina, like for sure. Like they're number one, literally always. But I would definitely, I remember when like, I was reading the script and I thought that Adrian and Adrian and I were like gonna end up, our characters were gonna end up being together. No way. She always had a crush on him. So I thought that that was gonna be something, um, which was crazy. But uh, what else? who else? But I definitely ship, um, what's her name? Oh my gosh, Courtney and Jet, yeah. For sure. Oh, how cute. I love it. Right. Um, I know sometimes you never know when you do a ship, you're like, is this going to be controversial? Um, I, <laughs> I love it. Not. Yeah, hopefully not. No, everybody. I feel like one of the things that I love about the series is like when I go through the comments on stuff or even when we post stuff, it seems like everybody loves everybody, which is pretty unique and so um like other other projects and stuff or other shows I'm reading the comments like oh people like really kind of get spicy but I haven't seen yeah. that as much so yeah. I love that um okay so we have some fan questions so this is from Eric from TikTok 
Have you ever thought about writing your own music? And if so, what type of music do you think you'd want to put out there? And what type of messages would you like to share through your music? Yes, I have definitely thought about writing my own music and releasing pretty soon. Um, But the type of messages that I want to share to the world is I think that being a teenager in this new generation is like so important. Um, And it comes with so many ups and downs and, you know, difficulties that not a lot of people warn you about. Um, So I definitely want to write about that. And just like, I want to I want my music to grow with my fans. Um, So like when I release something, I want it to be timeless and hopefully my legacy will live on and on. But um, but yeah, like I just want to inspire the little girls like me and the teenagers like me. Yeah, I love that. And encouragement is like, I feel one of the most powerful tools we have in this lifetime. And so, um, and I see that in you. You've always been like, ever since I first started chatting with you last time, you're such a light. And I know that that's going to be portrayed in your music. So we are really excited for it. Um, We have another question. So this is from Sublos Love on Instagram. What was it like coming back for season four? And do you have an overall favorite moment from your time on High School Musical, the musical, the series? Yes, for sure. Coming back for season four, I never imagined that either. (laughs) Um, So like that was crazy when I got the call back and Tim was like, we want you for season four again and he's going to come back. And I remember getting the script and reading like how her character was going to be. And I was like, whoa, like she is totally different from season three. Because if you remember in season three, she was like super shy. She didn't talk a lot. She She was a singer, but she didn't really know who she was yet. Um, She was at summer camp, so things were different. It was summertime. Um, And then I read that she was coming to East High, and she was going to be a freshman. And I I was in eighth grade, so being able to play freshman was literally, like, so exciting to me. I remember, like, being so geeked about it. Um, (laughs) So, yeah, that was pretty cool. And I love that now Emmy has, like, really came out of her shell, and she's, like, she knows who she is now, and she's really suspicious. She's, like, she's like really like I don't know I don't know how to explain her like she's super outgoing she literally says whatever's on her mind um she's like a little spy um (laughs) teleports like she's crazy this season but she does have a solo which is dreams don't die so that was so much fun to you know be able to sing and film um so yeah I definitely love her character now in season four and coming back and seeing all of the you know Sophia and Joshua Julia Frankie Tim seeing all of them and reuniting yeah. is literally the best ever um being able to like be around my big brothers and sisters again and this means more advice for me and yeah so it was it was a blast so 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 cool um So another one from Instagram, this is Aisha from Instagram says, what inspired you to go so hard and dreams don't die? Because when you sing it, I can feel your amazing energy. You look like you were having such a blast. So what inspired you to go so hard? And what was that experience like? So dreams don't die. I remember Tim, he called me in his office and he was like, Lily, you're going to have a big big solo like one of the biggest solos that you've probably ever done in the show yet um and I remember he told me that it was going to be in episode six and I remember being literally so excited um and you know I remember listening to it for the first time and listening to the lyrics and I literally bawled my eyes out because Mm -hmm. the lyrics like touched me they literally like I felt like I related to the song so much um And so I think that definitely helped with giving it my all and really feeling the words that I was singing. And um, when I filmed it, like it felt like no one was in the room with me and it was just me singing in front of this empty, this empty crowd, which was the real auditorium from East High, keep in mind. Um, So yeah, that was really cool. And I felt super emotional. And I think we did it like five times because, you know, every take was a new emotion. So yeah, Tim was, I I hope he was like blown away with my performance and all of the fans Mm -hmm. were blown away because I really, you know, my main goal was to deliver to all the fans. Um, And, you know, I, hopefully I did that and hopefully everyone loved it. 
You definitely did. It was so good. So I assume if Mr. Federley approached you with a spinoff, you would be down. Oh, yeah. No doubt about it. I would totally be down. Um, I know that he's such he's like literally such a mysterious person. Like, you never know what to expect with Mr. Tim. So um, like, if he reached out to me and said that he wanted to do a spinoff, I would be so down because hopefully it would be a spinoff for Emmy um, or something else who knows. But yeah. it'd be amazing. That's so cool. So and this is from Leah from our discord. What was the funniest thing to happen off camera? Oh my god. Okay. Literally, every single day on set, we would always be messing around, like always joking around. We would either be making TikToks that were trending, dancing, singing, um, just like always messing around, like literally like we could never take things serious on set. <laughs> um, but like, obviously, when Tim told us like, okay, guys, we're about to take action, um, we would like get serious and focused. But majority of the time, we were always laughing with each other. Um, or like, <laughs> videotaping each other doing something stupid <laughs> but oh and also Frankie and Dara and me we were we would call ourselves the cheetah sisters I'm sure you've heard of it before um we would sing this one little part from one of the main songs and like every time we would see each other we'd be like oh hey hey cheetah sister um and we would just like break into song and like harmonize with each other and like everybody would get a kick out of it so that was definitely one of like the best memories that I'll ever have. Um, I love that. Yeah, it was, it was always so much fun. That's so fun. You guys totally are a family. Um, I'm obsessed with Cheetah Sisters or Cheetah Girls. Um, <laughs> um, okay, now to put you on the spot, can you sing your little Cheetah Girls section that you would do with them? Not sound as good because I don't have my Cheetah Sisters with me to harmonize, but um, this is what we would do. Because we are sisters. We stand together. We make up one big family. No, we don't look the same. Our spots are different, different color. We make each other stronger. That ain't ever gonna change. That's what we would do. How are you so good? How are you so good? Thank Your you. runs are insane. Oh my God. Thank you so much. I'm Limani. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to Young Entertainment.